Today we have some ramps, a little bumper ramps, if you guys can see them there. You get four of them, all right? And as you can see, we have a cable. And the bad part of the cable is that we have an RV here covering it up. It runs up over the cable. It messes up a lot of things. Today we got this, especially so we could put in the cable in between here. And these connect like a puzzle pieces to give you the actual grounding areas. So you could connect them like a puzzle. Right now we're going to set one up and we're going to run the cable through it. So let's go ahead and do that. And then if he wants to do that, you could take this in an RV section. Instead of using something like this, you could maybe use something like this. But don't recommend you on the hill. All right, just a little bump. Yeah. And drop it to lock it. Lock in place. Yeah. There you the go. cable goes there. Alrighty. Get on. So this is it. Somebody's walking so they don't trip on the yep. cable. So somebody's walking, they don't trip on the cable now. Now we got the cable plugged in here, if you guys can see it, and it won't affect anybody that walks over so they won't trip on the cable. So we set it up for an RV. Like I said, we have one more extension. We're going to probably set it up later. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. They give you plenty of anchors to set these up on the ground on concrete. Uh, you do have to have the proper gear in order to set these up. But once you set them up, they have entries in here that you can set them up. So you have to screw them in here between these things, drill them in there and make your own hole to actually hold on. And like they give you a little space here so you can actually anchor them. So very simple, easy to use. You don't have to anchor them, but this is perfect. We're running our cable here into the RV. Hope you guys enjoy the video.